Our foundation is extending its commitment uh, to Giddy for the next five years. In a speech delivered Thursday in Beijing, Bill Gates, the billionaire philanthropist, announced 50 million U.S. dollars in support of the Global Health Drug Discovery Institute, or Giddy, an organization that researches disease and medicine in the Chinese capital. The funding has been matched by the Beijing municipal government in support of the organization. This nonprofit institute, where Mr. Bill Gates made his speech, was jointly founded in 2016 by the Gates Foundation, Tsinghua University, and Beijing Municipal Government. Its stated mission is to improve global health through accelerated development of new drugs and innovative technologies to tackle diseases that disproportionately affect populations in the developing world. Over the past six years, Giddy has worked to develop new drugs that address global diseases and challenges. According to officials working at the institute, it's made groundbreaking achievements in antiviral, anti-TB and anti-malaria research, with a number of drugs entering clinical trials. And with the newly announced funding committed by Gates, the organization's leader believes their capacity to discover new drugs will be bolstered. Uh, in the next five years, we plan to invest uh, uh, some uh, significant funding to uh, new technology development, uh, new platform development, uh, for example, artificial intelligence, in drug discovery. Uh, uh, we, we feel actually uh, some of those uh, new technologies uh, actually uh, could uh, also revolutionize our drug discovery process. In addition to public health issues, Gates' speech also touched upon other global challenges, while speaking highly of China's considerable gains in tackling them, especially poverty reduction. You know, China, of course, is a, a fantastic example reducing uh, poverty and improving health outcomes. And there's so many uh, ideas and approaches uh, that worked here in China that uh, will be valuable uh, to the entire world. Gates also stressed that speeding up progress in confronting global challenges requires an all-of-society approach, with governments, academia, businesses, and philanthropists playing a role. Zheng Chunying, CGTN, Beijing.